Can we have a 10? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why is this not picking up my lucian? There we go. Let's quickly just set everything else up first. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Thank you. Hang on, is it saving? Save, save, save. Hello! Uh, apologies if you're watching this in video form, which you probably most likely are. Uh, no control, there we go. So now I can wait till afterwards. Right, open that. Hello, 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 hello. Hang on, just make sure. Yep, you can hear me voice, mate. Right. So today, we are going to High Hrothgar to see the Greybeards in our Nord two-handed build, I guess. If you can really call it two-handed, I'm only using this at the moment because I can, and I will. Doing this at night with our uh, lovely companion, Lydia, who's also using a battle axe. <laughs> Don't really see many companions ever use a battle axe, so the fact that she's using one, I haven't given her one. Makes it kind of cool. Just want to turn those spiky grass down. There's a little bunny. Yes. Can we swing the bunny? Nope, the swing on this is far too stupid. There we go. And we got a soul from it. Nice. A lovely weather of Skyrim. Absolutely bloody beautiful. Look at all the snow. Beautiful snow. This, I do believe, is a Stormcloak camp? Yep. Just want to discover it. Continue on our path. God, heavy armor is going to be a pain in my backside with my carry weight. Once we start carrying a bunch more stuff, then we're going to be crying. But we gave Lydia our, our dragon bones, didn't we? Yeah, yeah we did from uh, that weird dinosaur, Mundavir. Whatever they bloody name dragons nowadays. So, last off, yeah, like uh, last off, we killed the big dragon. We came back, came came back from Bleak Falls Barrow, and we teleported to Helgen. We are now on our way to High Hrothgar to go meet the Great Beards, and we're taking a much quicker route than the route they suggest to you. Well, most people take go round the top of the mountain, make your way round to Ivalstead. I feel this way is a lot quicker. One, you avoid most of the conflict within like all the bandits and whatnot. Two, you, you just avoid more and you get there much quicker because this is a more direct path and we're going to quickly kill this fox. You, your soul is now mine. Oh, hello. Who are you? Are you a bandit? I'm on my way to Solitude to join the Legion. The United Empire is better for everyone. Hi, Farmer. Oh, now we've got the choice of joining the Imperial Legion. <laughs> nice. See, is this uh, that farmer must be coming from Stormcloak territory? He's going the opposite way from it to go to. I said, yep, make it our right way. Is that an enemy or a goat? It's a goat. It's a bloody goat. I thought it was a bloody enemy. What am I doing? Two goats. And my get of goats. Uh, I do like the weather in Skyrim though. While it is like chilly and whatnot, same. Hello. Hello, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Your pelts are most welcome. 
Huh, they can't know where. No, I, I just see the goats start running back to walking. They never do that. Alchemist Shack, I do believe this is. Yes, it is. It's a really, really, really good place if you want to get like loads of alchemy ingredients quickly. Let's come over here, get some spiky grass, or feathers, barrel dragon tongues. Lydia, we have the doorway, please. There's fire salts as well if you need it. An alchemist journal. Coming to this area was a brilliant decision. The local flora seemed to have many useful properties that I've been able to utilize into new potions. Outside, the rich soil has allowed the cuttings I've collected to grow into fine and bountiful plants. This afternoon, I think I will journey out for more mushrooms as my current sample, su sample supply is beginning to dwindle. On a personal note, I have moved my alchemy work outside the shack. I find the midday air is a boon to my health as well as inspirational to my work. Now, we never find the uh, the dear um, alchemist. I think they just ran away when the war started. I'm going to take that bucket with us, you know. Butterfly in a jar, a gourd. Just basically just nick everything they have in their shack, you know. They're, never, they're not going to come back, they're probably dead. Take what we can. Just take the books. Not like they're going to be any value anyway. We can sell them to a library. Donate. Books are good for you. Therefore, take it. So, we've the snow stopped, and we're making our way. Oh, then I got all for you. Ain't? Oh, fucking come back here, dude. Thank you. Oh, we've got more stuff. And is Lydia actually going to run to me now, or is she just going to stay back? She just Lydia just does what she wants. Come on, Lydia. <sighs> oh, well. It's a really nice sky. Same that the fan in the background just has to ruin. Hello. Hello. Oh, and hello. Uh, oh. That's three soul gems. Oh, no, mind two soul gems because we emptied them all. Wait, uh, yeah, I want. The f why? Ah, <sighs> overlapping. Hate it sometimes. So, do we have no more soul gems? Yeah. We have no more soul gems. Oh, well. Hello? I hear something. That's a bear. Oh yes, bears are the most ferocious creatures of the lands. You just keep them back and forth. You can eventually just dodge as many stuff as they can do. You know, or almost die while fighting it and having to go to healing straight afterwards to heal yourself. Yeah, that as well. Where is it? There is. Thanks, a white one. <sighs> hey, we're almost at Iverstead. Nice. Not too long now till we get. It. See, it's much shorter going this, going through the path from Helgen, than going from the path of uh, White Run all the way round to Iverstead around the mountain. Just go straight through. What the dragon didn't attack White Run per se. The, law the, the dragon attacked the guards tower, which technically isn't White Run. It's in the province, or the county, whatever you want to call it, of White Run. But it's not. I can do that. Though, the wedge. But it's not technically like the city of White Run. But I guess it could mean that it is the province, and I'm just. Making this too hard. Is that a goat? That's a dead goat. That is a dead goat, right? It's a dead goat. Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. Passing through on your way to Highland. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. 
Hey, Clement. I will take your little sack upstairs. Upstairs? Uh, up the mountain for you. Alright, onwards to High Hirothgard, a 7,000 steps of bloody horrible. As you hear my brother scream and shout outside of my room, I'm going to close his door. Fuck off, Callum! As you can hear, he has as much as a screaming tendency as I do when playing video games, and I do not blame my family for doing so, for video games are bloody stressful. Hello, you must have killed that goat. You're dead now. My enchantment's going to slowly wither away as I have no use for it at the moment. We also appear to uh, not have any stamina either, which means we're not going to be able to run. Uh, alas. So, only a minor problem we can overcome by first row dar. Stumble! Let me kill you. Thank you. Your goat meat and goat hide should be efficient. I did need your uh, your horns. I think it's level 10. One of the DLCs starts happening, I don't know. And it's level... Oh, hello. You're up here. I'm going to talk to you. Keep an eye out for... Strange days well, all you're doing is standing up here doing nothing. I so, I think what I might do is... Even though I went with Rayloth at the start, I might still go with the Imperial Legion, but that's my personal preference because I hate the Stormcloak's initiation of having to go to a bloody stone and kill a bloody stupid ice wraith, stupid thing. Eh, bad thing. Oh, we've anchored something. Hello. Shut up. Stop. Yap it. Bad dog. Normally you're in packs of three. Why is there no more of you? I should have just done that. Only good magic school when you're a uh, warrior. Restoration. Unless you want to be a warrior mage, then de destruction is your way to go. Or if you just want to be a warrior anyway, you know what to do. Uh, what do we need to do? We need to help this time. No, his stamina. Yeah, try to get that equal. Once every 15 levels, I think I'll put a thing into Magicka. So the 15th level, Magicka will get up by one. So we'll hardly see an increase in Magicka. I just want that tiny bit extra to rest our eyes on. Those steps are so annoying. Anything in this bowl? Coin. Uh, there we go. Nice. If I hit the bowl, leave the bowl. It's a bowl and offering. Leave it. Take the offerings instead. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I might just do this as a two-handed build. We'll get a bunch of like good weapons eventually. But the two-handed is kind of uh, underused, I'd like to say, because I never use it. I know my, one of my friends enjoyed using two-handed, but because like, these four it would be make more sense. I don't blame him. There's more damage output, but the swing speed is lower, and that's why I tend to use like a dagger, stealth sort of type build rather than anything else. Not too far now. Got another bloody hitchhiker person, dude. Hello. How are you? Need something? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. I, <sighs> I love when you just talk to people and you can only want to hear one thing they say and nothing for the rest of it. It's absolutely divine. Right. Let's save our stamina because I know what happened next. You should know what happens next. Skyrim's been out for like five years now. Yeah, five years. Four years, five years. Just been out for bloody ages, so if you don't know what happens next or any of these missions, you are. I don't know why you're watching this. Play the game yourself. Get it. 
Well, I missed that frost troll. Oh, you're already injured. What's injured you, dude? Stagger. Stagger. Ah, no. Yeah. Hey. Get out of his reach, but stay in my reach, dude. Oh, fuck. 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 Right. Get me. Oh, you just got executed, bitch. Oh, damn, bro. Anything? No, just more and more wind. I don't think there's ever been a chest like there. I, always, I sometimes thought there would be, but apparently not. As we make our way to the final bits, as we look around the corner, and there's still a bunny mountain. We, how long have we got to go, dude? A little bit further, hopefully. A little bit, hopefully. Come on. It's almost six, man. Keep on walking, keep on walking, carry on. Oh, look at all this smoke. Not much further to go now. Lydia, are you keeping up? Good. I think I'll leave the war out, like the war sides, out of this until we finish the main story. You know? Like, like we could do, like, maybe the Thieves Guild or Dark Brotherhood. It all depends, like, how I want to play this build. Because normally I just join everything and become the leader of everything and just kill everything and be generally a sort of a dickhead in this game, like, I don't, I don't, yeah, I'm basically just a massive dick, I do what I want in this game, if I don't have it my way, then, then I get a bit mad. Right, I need to put Plymouth supplies in here. Take your day there, salt. Hey, there, cabbages. Take their flowers, and not allow flowers, they're grey bids. So, did I give you... Ah, uh, I must have gave you one of the battle axes I picked up then. Uh, you can have the bear pelt, the goat hides... I guess I still have that golden claw. Why the hell is that that random dong in the background? <laughs> and now we go into High Hirufka. 16, 18 minutes now we've been going for. Oh, hello. I've come here because you called me. At least I think you did. Oh, hello. He will show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Oh! I am Master Arngir. I speak for the Greyblades. Hello, Master Arngir. Why have you come here? Uh, that one. We are here to guide you in that. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the See, Greybeards. See, the guy to your left's got a great, but go to your right, you my left. He has a grey beard. Yours is more blonde in my eyes, but don't you have to be the light. I am ready to learn. But you have a grey beard, and you have a grey beard. You have a blonde beard. You've got to be like the youngest out of all of them, surely, right? You're like a slightly 
longer bearded Obi Wan from Episode Four of uh, Star Wars. Lydia, uh, I suggest you move that way a bit. I just do that. Like, make Lydia learn it. <laughs> yes, of course, I have the gift. Oh, you've been wiped into oblivion. Are you going to give me a second one? Again. Come on. And it's gone. As we look up into the sky, and we look down at the wall, and we look to the right, we look at the other side, and we get the uh, watch up wall. Fiek, los And he's gone. Impressive. Your doom is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. You will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Right, now while we should learn the next word of power from Bori. I am unfortunately going to have to say that I'm going to have to end this here due to some uh, circumstances. I uh, hope anyone who else would watch this would enjoy it and if you do slap a like button, if you don't, don't have to and I will see you in the next episode of Skyrim. Peace out.